It's no secret that the world you live in today is full of manipulative behavior. In fact, most kingdoms came in power by manipulating their enemies. And for others, manipulative behavior was their demise. Whatever you think about manipulation, one thing is for certain. Whoever is on the receiving end of it will never benefit. Especially in today's society, women tend to take the lead when it comes to manipulating the man. There's a saying that if you want to get a man to do something, make sure that his wife is on your side. Why? Because even if the man doesn't agree with you directly, his wife will convince him into doing the work. This is what you call manipulation, and being aware of it is the first step in becoming a man who can understand himself and others at a rational level. Remember, you could have the fanciest house and cars, but female manipulation will hurt you badly if you allow it. It occurs through subtle signs that men play right into and end up making a fool of themselves. Consider an example of a man who texts a woman to meet up. She declines his offer by telling him that she's busy, while in reality, she is not. She just wants him to pursue her harder. Manipulating men can be uncomfortable, but women do it effortlessly. Women were considered a weaker gender in our society, but this fact is now changing. In our modern society, women know how to manipulate men to obey their orders. As far as the techniques of manipulation are concerned, women are just playing to their strengths. And you could be angry at women all you want for being manipulative, but that's their greatest gift. Men can't be fought fist to fist. The only way to a man's heart is through emotional control, which women excel in. With that said, let's check out the eight biggest tactics and things women do to manipulate men. Number one, overpraising. Some of you might have noticed when all of a sudden your girl starts to constantly praise you in almost everything you do. You may have thought, oh, I'm the greatest man on the planet. Praising is not bad. In fact, it's one of the most important ways for showing appreciation. People love to get the approval of others, but a close observer would feel odd with continuous praise. Overpraising is what you call buttering. Your girl is essentially using your emotional side and she knows that it works effectively. Any rational man should look out for such a moment because she is most definitely going to make a demand that you might not be able to turn down without feeling bad. Number two, crying. Oh boy, this is a tough one. We all hate ourselves if our loved one cries because of us, especially if she's a pretty woman. In such situations, your heart will melt because, by appearance, she will look so weak and defenseless. A manipulative woman knows this technique and she is more than willing to use it against you if you will give her the opportunity. Those of you who think that a man is not emotional are wrong. Men feel emotions too, but they've been socially conditioned to hide their emotional side. There is only one solution to this problem. You give in. You may not know it, but women are smiling on the inside while crying on the outside, so you can't do anything about it. Now, don't take this out of context. That doesn't mean that you should look down on your girl as some type of manipulative beast if her pet dies and she's crying. Instead, firstly, understand the situation you're in. Play by the facts, not by emotions as women like to do. Understand whether or not she's trying to cope out of the argument by playing the victim. Number three, nicknames. This may come as a surprise to some of you, but names establish fondness and familiarity. Funny or cute nicknames such as Honey and Darling are always used in relationships from time to time. This too can be used by a manipulative woman to guilt trip you into rewarding her. She has mastered the tone she uses to call out his nickname. And when she does, the poor fellow is standing alert like a servant waiting to respond to his master's calling. Why? Because she's appealing to your self-respect and love in this case. By calling you by your nickname in an appealing tone, you once again find it hard to turn down her request. Number 4. Touching 
the power of touch can never be underestimated. You can transmit a lot of information simply by touching. When a man touches a woman, he's only trying to tell her what is on his mind. Suppose you touch a woman in public with good intentions. But if she's not comfortable, guess where you're going? That's correct. Straight to the prison, and they might throw away the keys too while they're at it. The funny thing is that women have a natural advantage to touch a man even in public places. A female manipulator knows how to manipulate men by touching. This is what you call the Delilah's touch. Think about Samson, the strongest man on the planet. The Bible says a total of 1,000 men could not bring down one man. But do you know what did bring him down? A simple soft touch of a woman. So stay alert and don't break your virtues for temporary pleasureful touches. Number 5. Comparing A woman may compare you with other men when she wants to get things done her way. She would not tell you her demands instantly. Rather, she will mention the things you did for others constantly. This way, she's showing you that she does not want to be left out. It actually works because men do not like to be compared to others. Obviously, you will think low of yourself when all of your shortcomings will be presented before you. Why? Because it firstly undermines your role as a leader and a provider. And secondly, you know that people will talk behind your back and think of you as a stingy man who could not provide for his woman. Number 6. Nagging Almost 95% of men complain that their women are irritating. It's a great burden for a man who works 35 to 40 hours a week at least. The only solution to get her to stop is by finally agreeing to her verbal demands. A woman can make life hell for a man by nagging, whether it's by calling or texting him constantly or by mood swings. Men are too tired of hearing the same complaints, demands, and the same old stories, so they give up at last. This is also a valuable lesson to the sisters listening to this right now. Don't fall into society's trap of thinking that you need to challenge your man. Your man has already had enough challenges on his plate as they come. If anything, you need to support him and stand beside him as he faces those challenges. Number 7. Seductions Nearly every woman knows how to seduce a man, and they all have tools at their disposal to make things happen according to their consent. The greatest weapon at their disposal is their luscious body. But, at a subconscious level, we all know it's true. A woman can make a man lose self-control just by revealing some flesh or by smooching him. She may give you a promising look or send messages that would tempt you to want her even more. Women always succeed in this because they are aware of the fact that nature has jinxed men with an insatiable desire for sex. As long as the man believes that his desires will be fulfilled, at last he will do anything for the woman. His whole mind, soul, and body will be united as one to get one thing that he needs the most. And finally, number eight, avoiding. Some women cross all their limits to get the attention they want from men. You might have noticed your wife or a girlfriend avoiding you. All she wants is to get your attention. Usually, women ask for some space when they require the most attention. In such cases, you will notice an inexplicable distance between you two, and you'll blame yourself for not doing what's right or sorting things out. She will know what you're going through, and that is exactly what she wants you to feel. Some of us only value something when we're about to lose it. We don't even know our love for that thing until that moment. Women specify the same message by presenting themselves in that manner. You will be scared to lose her if she happens to be your one and only. Women who play this card in manipulation are truly one of the worst types. So remember, brothers, a perfect female manipulator knows how to control men. Anytime you find yourself stuck, observe your interactions more closely. Are you on the receiving end of a manipulation? By the way, don't forget to show some love. Tap that subscribe button and hit the like for the algorithm. To see the next best way to level up as a man, 
Watch these videos here.